Big D. I'm Huge E. I'm Little Pee Pee. this month there's an attendance challenge going on from April 9th to April 25th. All the students that are here for the 13 school days will be entered into a raffle to win a whole bunch of candy. And don't forget to bring your Chromebook charge every Across day. Across the state there was Truman Trailer winners there was 10 and out of the 10 we had three. So okay so I know um, I know you're worried but I wanted you guys to come in because I got the results back from the Truman Trailer contest. There are 10 winners in the entire state of Missouri, grade six, eight, and three of them are sitting at this table. Okay, guys. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So, first place for, tell me your book. The Forgetting. The Forgetting. First place for Lily and Duncan, and first place for the girl, I used to be. the girl I used to be. So almost it was like almost a third of the entire state winners are right here. And I'm so proud of you guys. Like I am so super proud of you guys. Oh my gosh, you worked so hard. So yay, 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 yay. Hey Emma, I heard that a bunch of kids had dinner to milk Tuesday morning. Yeah, it was for breakfast with experts. Hmm, could you tell me a little bit about what that is? Well, it exposes the students to different career fields. Well, I heard that. I heard they learned about health services and there was four speakers to explain their jobs and work fields. Yeah, I wonder what career they're gonna take next though. I do too. Here's some pictures and videos from Breakfast with the Experts. And I'm a medical technologist um, in a microbiology lab. And some of you guys may have heard me talk last year. I came in and did my whole thing with my plates and stuff. Yeah, um, anyway, so microbiology, um, so I'm from St. Joe, I went to Benton, um, I went to Missouri Western, so I have a four-year degree, a bachelor's in biology. EMA recognized the top I rating and the top no rating performances in the school. The winners were based on lessons passed and got a ten dollar gift card to the red zone. As you know, we've been in our I ready lessons for the entire school year, and here to my side are the top five past lessons for our entire building. And we have Drennan with the top number at 82, Miss Diana Bonnet at 50. Zachary has 48, Tyler coming in at 47, and Tamara at 46 lessons passed. So for their hard work and diligence, they will receive a $10 gift certificate that they can spend at the Red Zone for the remainder of the year. Very good job. I am so happy to announce that these are the winners, the No Red Ink winners of our school. They have mastered the most topics of all the students at Spring Garden this year. And they are winning a $10 gift card to the Red Zone. Woo! March 27th, there was a meet in Cameron. Last Tuesday, there was one in Savannah. Also yesterday, there was one in Smithville as well. The results for the meet on the 27th are for eighth grade, Tate and Peeper Griddis got third in the 800. Sky Aguilar got fourth in the 1600. Case and Jose got first in the 100 meter hurdles. The four by 100 relay team got first with Brody Hunt, Alec Milborn, Carson Newland, and Case and Jose. 
four, the four by four team got second with Justin Sell, Carson Newland, Sky Aguilar, and Ethan Cowell. Also, Carson Newland got first in long jump, and Dakota Dilly got first in discus. Now in seventh grade, Riker Wells got first in long jump and fourth in the 200 meter. And the results for Tuesday were Dakota Dilly got third in discus and got second in shot put. Carson Newland got first in long jump. Also, Alec Moore got third in long jump. As well, Kaysen Mose got first in hurdles. Sky Aguilar got sixth in the 1600. And the four by 200 meter relay team got first with Carson Newland, Brody Hunt, Jeremy Matthias, and Alec Moore. The girls' seventh grade first places are four by 100 relay team. Kelsey Johnson, Tatum Levendahl, Winter Hurst, Tamara Clark. The triple jump winners was Tatum Levendahl. Hurdles were Winter Hurst and the 400 meter Kelsey Johnson. Now the eighth grade girls first place winners are Savannah Binyam. Tomorrow there is a meet at Benton called the Kibble Invite for a teacher who used to work at SGMS. Hope you all have a good day. How much on the average that Dorenzo makes a week? Well, Ms. Brown told us that they make on average 300 a week, but when big tournaments come around, Ms. Brown said that they can make over $2,000. I heard that the most popular item from there was probably the sour skittles and gum, and that's probably what they profit off of. Yeah, everyone loves those. So Emma, do you know what Ms. Brown's favorite thing about working there I've done is? Her favorite thing, she said, was probably when kids come from other schools and say that they love it during the games or even come early just to eat. She also loves when other, other teachers or principals comment on the Red Zone. I heard the Red Zone's been going on for about nine years now, and that when it first started, it was open during lunch all the time for the first 10 minutes, and Miss Gibson also used to run it while other teachers took turns too. Yeah, now they don't have anyone to run it though, so it can't be open. Well, that really stinks. It originally started with Miss Gibson running it and teachers switching on and off shifts, and it was open during lunch too. But since there isn't anyone to run it, they can't have it open. You know what? I really, really, really want there to be blue slushies, Emma. Peyton, what are you doing? They already are bringing back blue slushies. <gasps> So Emma, considering that the Red Zone makes a lot of money, do you know what it goes towards? Well, it actually goes towards a lot of things, including buying all of the furniture, um, providing buses, and it even helps out some of the kids at our school. Well, I didn't realize how much the Red Zone helps for our school. It's pretty cool. Catch us next week! Channel News. <laughs> Back with your my name is Davey Davison. And who is my sleigh girl? And my name's here? Linda. That's my sleigh girl's over here.
based on let 